This one here is the U2 Dragon Lady, and it's sort of an interesting plane. This is the one that flew over Russia in the late 60s, and I'm pretty sure it's the one that got shot down. Not this particular plane, but the kind of plane. It's a stealth plane, or it just it's stealthy in the way that it just flies so high that they thought it couldn't get shot down. But it's a reconnaissance plane, and it takes pictures. So I'm not a professional on what it can do, but I do sort of know some things about it. This particular version doesn't have all the weird things on the wings and top, mostly because I ran out of pieces. <laughs> and this one has a canopy that does open. Right here, the canopy. Also has landing gear that do function. The canopy, as you can see, just opens on a pivoting joint right here. It just opens all the way to reveal a full cockpit on the inside. See, there's just a control stick and I'm going to add an ejection seat, but it would have added to the bulk, so that's what we have right there. And it just closes up to be nice and tidy. The bottom does have retractable landing gear. Right here, you can see that this just folds in like that. And then these doors would shut, but I can't do that because I have a microphone. And then this one right here, as you can see, just slides right in to the thing right there. It normally have doors, but since it's a Lego skill, you have to make some compromises. And then these outriggers you'd normally just pull off because the real plane just sort of had to pull them off. That's the U2. And we're missing the wheel in the back, so we'll leave it that. But yeah, it's sort of a spy plane. Very interesting looking spy plane.